In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically encrypt your files before they even get uploaded to your chosen cloud storage. And I'm going to show you how to do this using the software called Cryptomator. And what's so great about this specific software? Well, first of all, it's free. It works with any storage provider like Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox or anything else really. And it's a zero knowledge e encryption, which means that only you have the key for decrypting your files. But at the same time, if you lose that key, you're going to lose your data forever. So keep that in mind. And the last but not least, it's an open source software, which means that the code is public. Anyone can read it. And that means pretty much that there is no funny business of anyone tampering with the code. Okay, so let's go over to first clicking the download button right here. And if you click the download button, you will get the DMG image if you're on Mac OS. The process is pretty much the same for Windows as well. Go over to desktop. So double click on it. And now you get this prompt right here. So just take this icon drag and drop it to your applications folder and I'm not going to do that right now because I already installed it. Uh, one other prerequisite for this to work is to install MacFuse and this is something that enables Cryptometer to actually mount a specific directory on your computer as a virtual drive. Uh, so if you double click on it, it will actually take you to this here website. All right, and here you can go and click on the MacFuse 4.1.0. This is the version at the time of this recording. So click on this to download it and install it. Again, I won't do that here because I already did it for, for my uh, system. So let's close this right here. Let's close this here. And of course, once it's installed, just run it. And what you'll get is this window right here. So how to set it up? Well, uh, first let's add a new vault as it's called. Uh, let's click on create new vault. And we're going to give a name to your vault. And vault is basically a place where if you put any of your files, they will get encrypted before they reach the Google or whatever other storage online storage you're using. Let's call this my vault, for example. Let's click on next. And here you should see uh, any detected cloud storage providers you have installed or supported on your system. Uh, I have iCloud and Google Drive. Uh, I'm going to click on Google Drive right now. And as you can see, it already chose a folder for me. So it's going to go into the Google Drive folder. That's a folder that's getting synced to my Google Drive and my vault, which is the folder that's going to get created inside. Basically, you can choose custom location if you have any other storage provider which wasn't de detected here. And you would just choose the directory which is getting synced to the cloud. All right, let's click on next. And here we have to choose a strong password and that's actually your key so be sure to never ever forget this key so either write it down on the paper or store it in your password manager wherever okay let's confirm it all right they match and now it's asking me if i want to be able to retrieve my password if i lose it of course, you can click on yes, uh, better safe than sorry. But if you want real security, you click no thanks. I will not lose my password. But it's important to note that you really, if you lose your password, you're done. There is no going back. You cannot get to your data anymore. All right, let's click on create vault. And now the vault is getting created. Right, so my vault was added and I can choose to unlock it immediately. Uh, let's do that. And now let's enter the password we have chosen just a minute ago. Right, let's click on unlock. 
Cool. So the vault was unlocked successfully. And we can click on Reveal Vault to open it up. Right, so now we have a just a dummy file right here. We can remove that to the trash. As you can see, my vault is now a new drive on our operating system. So I can just drag and drop this here in favorites so that I can always easily reach it. All right, and now uh, I've prepared a file right here. If you op if we open it up, you can see it's just a dummy text file, just to show you that this will get encrypted. So uh, let's just now choose the f the drive, the virtual drive that was created, and just drag and drop this file over here. Right. So now this file is going to get synced to Google Drive, but before it gets synced, it will actually get encrypted as well. And to confirm what just happened, just go to your Google Drive folder and open up My Vault. And if you go to the directories here, right there, you can see there is a file created, but you cannot really open it. If you double click it, it says that it's there's no application. It's a binary file that's just gibberish to anyone who sees it. You can try opening it up with your text editor. And you can see here that you can, there's no absolutely no way you can get to that text we saw just before. One thing to note right here is the same thing as it says here in the important.rtf file, which was generated by Cryptomator, is that you should never ever alter any files within this directory or put any files and hoping that they will get encrypted because they will actually not get encrypted. If you want th these files to get encrypted, you need to go through your vault right here and handle these files in this location. All right, so now let's see how would we restore the encrypted files on a different computer or on a freshly installed operating system. So to do that, we would install Cryptomator on the computer we where we want to restore the files. And we would, of course, have our Google Drive sync set up. And we would see these encrypted files in the My Vault, which was synchronized. In Cryptomator, we would click on Add Vault and then we would go to open existing vault. And now it's telling us to choose the master key file. So to do that, we're gonna click choose. And we're gonna go to the Google Drive folder and open the My Vault, which is the encrypted one, and go and choose the master key here. All right, and now we can see that the vault was added and we can go ahead and unlock it now. And to do that, of course, we need to enter our key, which we remembered to store in a safe place. Right, and now we can click unlock. And voila, this is it. We can see our decrypted files again. If we open them, we see the text we expected. All right, so this is it on how to install, set up and use Cryptomator. I hope you liked this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time.